All right, it's time for another. Uh, we get our kicks reading book 66. And each and every day I bring you a different book uh, that is an award-winning book, whether it's a Caldecott Award winner or a Barnes & Noble Award winner or a Georgia State uh, Picture Book winner. Uh, I read you a different book from a different location that inspires the book. Today, I am at Franklin Farm off Bill Rutledge Road where they sell local honey so her name is the bee lady and she sells local honey lena franklin of franklin farms off of bill rutledge road and it inspired the book reading today of honey i love illustrated by jan spivey gilchrist written by El eloise greenfield so uh wonderful honey you can buy uh jars of it pints and, and quarts it's fantastic honey uh, and supposedly that's supposed to help you with your allergy as well. So I'm going to be reading the book Honey I Love uh, by Eloise Greenfield, inspired by uh, Bee Lady Franklin Farm of the uh, As I read, I'm going to model what good readers do. Remember, good readers read fluently. Fluently means we read the words correctly. We read them at a good pace, not too fast, not too slow, and we read with expression. All right, and I want you guys, as I'm reading, to do what good readers do, and that's listen. Listen for the story elements, the uh, character, who or what the story's about, the setting, where the story's taking place, uh, the sequence of events, what happens first and next and last, because uh, you want to not only just read the words, you want to understand what you're reading, and understanding what you read is called comprehension. A great strategy for comprehension is to know what the questions are going to be before you read it. So we always give you the questions first, and then as you read it, it helps you focus on your attention as you're, li as you're reading. So, here it is. Honey I Love by Eloise Greenfield. Check out the Bee Lady, uh, Lena Franklin from Franklin Farms off Bill Rutledge Road. Enjoy. Honey, I Love by Eloise Greenfield, illustrated by Jan Spivey Gilchrist. I love, I love a lot of things, a whole lot of things, like my cousin comes to visit, and you know he's from the South because every word he says just kind of slides out of his mouth. I like the way he whistles, and I like the way he walks, but honey, let me tell you that I love the way he talks. I love the way my cousin talks, and the day is hot and, hot and icky, and the sun sticks to my skin. Mr. Davis turns the hose on. Everybody jumps right in. The water stings my stomach, and I feel so nice and cool. Honey, let me tell you that I love a flying pool. I love to feel a flying pool. And... Renee comes out to play and brings her doll without a dress. I make a dress with paper and the doll sure looks a mess. 
We laugh so loud and long and hard, the doll falls to the ground. Honey, I, let me tell you what, I love the laughing sound. And I love to make the laughing sound. And my uncle's car is crowded, and there's lots of food to eat. We're going down the country where the church folks like to meet. I'm looking out the window and the cows and trees outside. Honey, let me tell you that I love to take a ride. I love to take a family ride. And my mama's on the sofa sewing buttons on my coat. I go and sit beside her. I'm through playing with my boat. I hold her arm and kiss it because it feels so soft and warm. Honey, let me tell you that I love my mama's arm. I love to kiss my mama's arm and... It's not so late at night, but still I'm lying in my bed. I guess I need, to re need my rest, at least. That's what my mama said. She told me not to cry because she don't want to hear a peep. Honey, let me tell you, I don't love to go to sleep. I do not love to go to sleep, but I love, I love a lot of things, a whole lot of things, and honey, I love me too. Honey, I Love by Eloise Greenfield, illustrated by Jan Spivey Gilchrist. Thank you.